completely redesigned for 2024. And the whole idea here is tacos for everybody. Toyota wants everyone who wants a midsize pickup truck to find what they want in the Toyota Tacoma. What does that mean? Well, that means that there's a whole bunch of trims, including two off-road trims, the TRD Pro and the new Trail Hunter Edition. There is a limited edition that's full of luxury. There is an iForce Max hybrid engine that gives you almost 50 more horsepower. There are off-road modes. There are trail modes. There's everything that you need in a mid-size pickup truck from comfort to adventure in the 2024 Toyota Tacoma. This is the TRD Pro Edition. It is the next to top of the line. It is the one with all the off-road chops, but also very sporty sort of athleisure good looks to it. I love the black and white. It has the hood scoop for added air to the engine. It has this very iconic heritage Toyota logo across the front. There are new fog lights here that are very um, digital and modern looking, and it has this brand new face. If you have been a fan of the Toyota Tundra and thought that that was too big for you, but you really like the look and feel of it, that's the idea behind the 2024 Tacoma. So you'll see a lot of those visual cues here. You'll see a lot of those visual cues over here on the side as well. Come with me. I'm gonna try not to slide in the mud because they have been out here with these trucks on this off-road trail all day. But I want you to notice these large wheel wells. We have these all-terrain wheels here, and then you have these gloss black uh, fenders over the wheels and the TRD Pro badge here that lets you know that this is the badass Tacoma or the badass taco for everyone. You even have the TRD Pro uh, badge right there in the center of the wheels. In the back though, there are some really cool advantages to the truck bed and I wanna show you that. You'll see the TRD Pro name embedded in the tailgate. iForce Max, that's the engine. This, this one has the hybrid engine. And then you can either use the buttons on the side to lower the tailgate or you can just tap that little contraption there, that little uh, touch, touch pad and the gate lowers it also. You can touch it from underneath and it closes. That's pretty, a pretty nice detail. Toyota has rethought a lot of the function in the bed. It is not multifunctional. There's not a lot of gimmicks here, but the things that you really need, I'll show you some of the details in here. It has this really beautiful polished surface. So it doesn't have, it, it feels more finished. It will be very easy to clean. It's not gonna have uh, dirt in all those little crevices. We have some nice tie downs. We have a, a power outlet there and a light and a window here on the back of the uh, cab. So you have a work light and then you have a window for some fresh air when you're in the cab of the Toyota Tacoma. TRD Pro for off-road has been so popular that for 2024, Toyota's offering not one, but two trail-ready, off-road, adventure-ready versions of the Tacoma. This is the Trail Hunter. This is the top of the line, and it has all of the off-road details that you need if you're really going off-road. So it's got the bigger all-terrain tires. It has some details for the bed. That is metal. It looks like it might be uh, something else, but it's not. It has this really lovely roof rail. It's got these uh, rails here that not only protect the car, but also allow you a little bit of a running board advantage. And then it's got underbody skid plates and all the things that you need for true off-roading in the Trail Hunter Edition. And that tells you what people do with their Toyota Tacomas. They love to go off-road and they love to go off-road well-equipped and in style. Toyota's tailgates are not as fancy as some other makers, but you do have everything you need, including this really nice re foot rest here. You've got nice grip here on the uh, bumper for climbing into the tailgate if you need to climb in like this, as opposed to uh, opening the tailgate. And inside we have some really nice features. There is a 240 watt AC converter for electric power. So if you need to run a piece of heavy equipment or something that just sucks up a lot of energy, like an air compressor to inflate your air mattress, you have the capacity to do that. We also have a bed light here. We have tie downs with those really beautiful uh, aluminum truck beds. So it looks great, it feels great, and it should wash great, which is something that we're really excited about. And 
the bed's bigger. It's 7% larger than in the last model. And there are two choices. You can get a five foot or a six foot truck bed in the 2024 Toyota Tacoma. Fully redesigned from top to bottom. And the interior is spectacular. And what Toyota has done is they've really thought about how you use the interior. So first of all, there is a wireless phone charger that fits a, a phone here that you can charge, but it actually fits two phones and there's a little divider in the middle so they don't knock around and knock each other. There are two USB-C ports. There is space for stuff here. Here is the very standard classic gear selector. You've got your drive mode selectors here and trailering controls here. I want you to notice this little detail right here and I'm gonna show you what that's for because I love this. This is a place to put your purse. So you could attach a tote bag, something small. You can put a grocery bag there, your daily shopper, whatever you need there, or you could put a trash bag there, but it's so clever to have this little hook there. And I have to say, I really love that. I have to say this too. Hey, Toyota. So it's not working because this is a pre-production model, but it has Hey Toyota voice assist. It also has wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It has navigation. You can subscribe for the all-in big package. You can get the built-in minimal package. And then we have radio, climate control, all of the things that are built into the new Toyota uh, multimedia system, which as you know, is fabulous and we love it. It has this really large, lovely steering wheel here, leather covered. You've got some controls over here and then you have all the steering wheel controls that we're used to. So a lot of cues from the Tundra and from some of the other products that Toyota has introduced since 2022. A lot of great features redesigned for how we live our lives in our cars. The 2024 Toyota Tacoma. It's finally here. Our heated steering wheel is here, heated and vented seats, and then climate control buttons. And notice this textured metal. This is something that, it, that we've seen um, in a lot of new cars lately, and it gives it a very um, almost industrial feel. You'll see it here on the, uh, the climate dials. You'll see it here on these buttons, and then you'll see it also on the uh, multi-terrain selector as well, and on the volume dial. So all of it makes you feel like you really are part of the machine. But here is what is special about the TRD Sport. So first of all, you'll notice it has this really beautiful body color trim here. It has uh, not quite all the bells and whistles here in the center, but you still have that purse hook. You still have a grab bar here. And then you got this guy and this is a manual transmission. So anybody who really wants to drive manual, and I was kind of wondering what this was going to be like because it's very front and center and it's kind of a high, usually I'm, I'm used to a, a shifter that's a little bit lower, but actually it's a really nice position so you can uh, shift through all your gears and then check this out. Check out this really beautiful, large, uh, I don't know if it's HD, but it sure is really great quality. That's what you get when you go into reverse in this car. And, but I really like the position of the shifter. So it's going to be comfortable and fun for driving. And it's not a bad powertrain either. 270 horsepower in the manual transmission version. Because it's the lower price TRD Sport, you'll see a few differences here. One is there is a wireless phone charge pad here, so it's nice that you get that. Your phone will fit right in there, right up against there. We do have USB ports and a power outlet here in the same place that we have, it, the same place that it is in all the other models. Here is our uh, parking brake. brake. Here is our parking brake, and we also have brake hold, which is a really nice feature. That means you can put it in neutral, tap the brake hold button, take your foot off the brake while you're sitting at a traffic light or stop sign or railroad crossing or wherever you have to sit, and the car won't move. I love that feature. It's a very thoughtful detail for those of us who love to drive a manual transmission, but sometimes our feet get tired from sitting on the brake all the time because you don't want the car to roll. Another detail that you'll have is the multi-terrain selector here. So this gives you uh, 
sport, normal, and eco. You don't have all the full off-road functions here. And there's something called clutch start. Toyota Tacoma has a feature that if you're driving the manual, you're really going to love, especially if you off-road, and that's called clutch start cancel. So what that means is if you're on a hill and the car stalls out, which happens, or you're just starting on a hill, maybe you live on a hill, you can actually tap the clutch start cancel button and then tap the start button with the car in gear. And then you can just hit the accelerator and go. You don't have to put the clutch in and then move over to the accelerator and risk rolling back. It's a little different than hill hold assist or hill start assist, which is typically keeps you from rolling backward when the car's already running. This is when you start it. So for anybody who's driving a manual on a hill and has that nervousness about rolling backwards, you don't have that in the Toyota Tacoma in the TRD Sport Manual Edition. And a little special treat for Toyota Tacoma buyers is this guy a JBL Bluetooth speaker that actually lives in the dashboard. You can pop it in there and listen to your tunes in the truck and then take them with you wherever you go. So what we love about the Tacoma is it's smaller and it's easier to drive, but that means less passenger space. Well, they have made the passenger cab a little bit bigger, but here is what they've improved on quite a bit, and that is underfloor storage. So notice here, all of this storage under here. So you could actually fit some groceries, you could leave an emergency kit, you could stow a tablet or even a handbag under there if you wanna leave stuff in the car or in the truck and no one would ever know that it's there. There's also a little bit of storage back here behind the seats. So anything that's very small and you don't need instant access to is easily stowable right there. In the back seat, we have child passenger latch systems for, on both outboard seats, not in the center seat, although this seat does seat five. And let's show you what it looks like. I'm gonna try to knock the mud off my shoes. Let's show you what it looks like for rear seat passengers. So I'm 5'8". This seat is set with a reasonable amount of legroom for the front, and I've got plenty of room. What I don't have is I don't have the sunroof like we do have in the Tundra. There is a sunroof here, but not over the rear seat. But what we do have are these nice bucketed seats. They're very comfortable. There are two uh, USB outlets here. There is a household outlet right here. I love that detail. And it's a very intimate cabin, so it's a great place to talk to your friends while you're taking a drive. We love the idea of tacos for everybody, Tacomas for everybody who wants this very popular mid-size pickup truck. It's easy to drive, it always has been. We expect that this one will be. We'll drive it in a few months and we'll let you know. It is easy on the wallet, so they haven't released pricing yet, but the prior model starts at $28,000 and tops out at about $46,000. So no matter where your budget is, there is a taco for everyone. With the two new engines, the four cylinder turbo or the four cylinder turbo iForce Max Hybrid, 326 horsepower, that's pretty nice for a pickup truck this size. Plus all wheel drive options, the crew cab or the single cab option, which is only in the starter models and the multi-terrain drive system. And then all the off-roading accoutrement that you would like to have in your pickup truck. The Taco or the Tacoma offers something for everyone. It's really just a matter of picking out the one that you want. 